Turning now to a story you saw exclusively first on 10. 30 puppies living in deplorable conditions at a pet shop. It's all part of an uh, animal cruelty investigation that was going on. Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly reports from Pembroke Park. According to Animal Services, nearly 30 sick puppies were found inside this pet shop last week, some suffering from pneumonia, others allegedly covered in their own waste. In fact, the conditions they say were so bad inside this store that the owner is now at the center of an animal cruelty investigation. A Pembroke Park pet shop now sitting empty days after dozens of sick puppies were supposedly found in very bad shape and removed by animal services. There was this little basset hound um, right when you walked in and flies swarming around it. This video taken by the Good Karma Rescue Group allegedly shows one of those dogs looking emaciated. I've never seen anything like it before. It was disgusting. Um, there was just hay everywhere. Um, big pens filled with puppies. It all started on Friday when inspectors with Broward Animal Services were called out to the Dr. Doolittle pet shop off Hallandale Beach Boulevard. Once they arrived, workers tell us they found several dogs all being housed in the same room, some laying in their own waste with little to no food. Been in there two or three times and met the owner. He seemed nice. Larry Johnson says he was looking to buy one of those dogs before the pet shop was raided last week. But the store was it was clean, it was nice, the people working there seemed to be nice. It was smelly and there was dog poop around that really wasn't appealing. Now the good news here is that all of those dogs have since been removed and are now being cared for by several animal rescue groups. We should point out we did reach out to the owner yesterday, although he tells us he doesn't know anything about this animal cruelty investigation. That's the latest from Pembroke Park. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.